In this Python nice GUI tutorial, we will make a web application with a date input element. We will make an application where we can see the day difference between the selected date and the current date. I will show you how to apply the application step by step in the video. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. First, I import the date time library. I will use this library for date operations. I will create a date input object. I am creating a variable. I save the code file and run it. You can go to this address using any browser. I added the date input element to the web page. We can assign a default value to the date input object. I assign a default value using the value property. I am saving the code file. I assigned a default value to the date input object. I want a function to be called when the value of the date input object changes. I can do this using the onChange feature. For now I am defining a function with pass. I will show the day difference in a label object. I am creating a variable. I am saving the code file. I added the label object to the web page. Now let's start coding the function. I am creating a variable. I synchronize the variable with the value of the date object. I create another variable. I sync this variable with the current date. I will divide the first date value variable into pieces and send them to the date time function. This way I can calculate the day difference. I'm matching year, month and day values. I define another variable. I just change the variables with year, month and day values. I will change the text property of the label object. I can do this using the setText function. I can find out the day difference by calculating the difference of two variables. I am saving the code file. I choose a day. The day difference between the current date and the current date is shown in the label object. I can give it a few tries. We may not want to see nine characters at the end. I will delete these characters. I can do this using string properties. I am saving the code file. I deleted the last nine characters. The application works as I want. In this video, we learned how the date input object works. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.